Hey guys, welcome to another video. If you're new to the channel, please go check out all my other videos on how you can heal ulcerative colitis or Crohn's disease through a plant-based diet. And feel free to subscribe to our channel for more videos like this. Hey guys, don't forget to follow me on Instagram at High Carb Health and also click on the green H so you get to see exactly what I eat and what I get up to every single day. If you haven't already subscribed to our channel, please hit the subscribe button and make sure you hit the bell icon so that you get all our notifications for our recent uploads. If you've been following us for a while, you know about the book Self Healing Colitis and Crohn's. If you don't have a copy, please go get one of these. You can um, follow the link in the description below. You can buy it from Amazon as well. But I just want to focus on dinner ideas for when you are going through the healing phase or the vegan healing diet. Now, some of you might be confused. What do I eat? So one of the clients that I actually worked with uh, sent me a photo of his foods every single day, which is awesome. So I'm just going to take a few of those photos and, and show you guys what you can actually eat and some of the more inventive things that people have been able to do. So... You know, I'm going to break it down and what you can eat and what he has been eating. We're actually going to be doing a testimonial soon as well, which is going to be cool. But he has been eating this way very consistently to heal his gut. And uh, he's doing really good right now. So I'm just going to break it down for you now. So here we have the broccoli and potato soup. If you don't know how to make this, please click on the link above in the corner and it will take you there for the recipes. So very simple dish, you know, he's also added some uh, chopped up broccoli and potatoes in there as well. Let's go to the next one. Another simple, simple dish, mashed potatoes. He's got a little bit of avocado here because this is what we do. We individualize people's programs according to the severity of their disease. So if you've been diagnosed with a condition for over five years, you may not be able to include that in your diet just yet. Um, but this is what he has been eating and so you've got another soup here broccoli and potato soup with, with cut up carrots and and broccoli as well and you can use a pinch of salt on these foods when you're going through healing so here we have some simple baked potatoes now sometimes you can use the oven to give yourself a different bit of flavor i think there's some sweet potato in there as well but this is also um, you can use this as a meal option. So here we go. We've got some steamed broccoli and some steamed carrots. Pretty simple. More baked potatoes and baked sweet potatoes. Here's the famous potato mash and broccoli. So some people can get away with some herbs. Um, it depends again your severity of your condition. So here we have another broccoli zucchini potato soup topped with some steamed broccoli as well. This one is really yum, actually. So if you're healing, if you're going through healing, make this dish, you might actually enjoy it. Here we go, we've got the same thing with a little bit of avocado as we have individualized his journey and his healing approach. So this is what it takes, guys. If you eat the same foods consistently over and over again, you will see that your body transforms, your body starts healing. So here we got sweet potatoes, we've got potatoes and we've got broccoli very very simple here we have a potato mash we've got some broccoli and we've got some steamed carrots yes he he has used a little bit of herbs in there as well which is completely fine we've got some potatoes sweet potatoes and broccoli and again he has used a little bit of avocado and it is okay again you need to understand and consult with someone or get some guidance and support when you're going through this healing phase so that you know what to eat and what you shouldn't eat so the book is just a guide, and if you need further assistance and further support, we are here to help. Here's another very simple dish again, broccoli soup, probably got some zucchinis and potatoes in there as well, and you've got some cucumber and some sweet potatoes. Now, again, you know, we did mix it up a little bit with them, 
Here's another simple dish, sweet potatoes, avocado, and some collard greens, and we have some bell pepper as well. Steamed broccoli, what do you know? Broccoli, sweet potatoes, and a little bit of spinach. Mashed potatoes with a few herbs, Ste uh, steamed broccoli, and steamed zucchini, and some cucumber. Here's a nice, good broccoli, potato, zucchini soup. Nice and creamy. So these are just a few meals um, that you can make when you're going through healing. Now some other people do have some other ideas as well. Um, but this is what it takes. If you eat these foods, you will be feeding your gut microbiome. You'll be feeding yourself the right fiber. And it's very soft. And, and just remember, this is the dinner choice. Okay, so this is what you want to eat for lunch and dinner, I guess. Um, if you're on the transition phase, lunch and dinner will be something very similar to this. Uh, if you're on the healing diet, it will just be a dinner choice. Um, and, and what is he eating for breakfast and lunch? He's eating a fruit smoothie. Okay, so bananas, dates, and that's for another video as well. But that's what you want to do consistently. If you want to heal your gut, you want to eat these beautiful soft fibers that are going to soothe your gut, give you really good nutrition. And that's it, folks. That's all you need to do. It's very simple. If you can get that done, you will be able to eat a variety of whole plant foods later on, just like I have. Nothing complicated in what, what you see here. Okay, these foods are really good for the gut. And if you have what it takes to heal your ulcerative colitis or Crohn's disease, please come and see us. You see so many other people go through the same process over and over again and they heal their bodies okay, by eating this kind of food. All right, so give this video a thumbs up if you liked it and obviously subscribe to our channel for more videos like this. And remember, eat plants and lots of them.